I guess I'm diving down into the movie review scene now because I want to talk about a little known movie called Alien Romulus. And I did not steal that intro from nobody whatsoever, so don't sue me and don't go looking up anything. To start off to say, I don't usually go to the movie theaters anymore, um, only for like big event movies like Deadpool and Wolverine, and not like movies like The Aliens, but I wanted to kind of surprise my girlfriend, and then I took my sister along just to go see the movie, and I'm gonna say that I was surprised. Not only was this a 10 out of 10 movie, I'm gonna say it was better than Deadpool and Wolverine. My girlfriend and my sister still think Deadpool and Wolverine is way better, and that's their opinion, that's totally okay, but I freaking love the movie. No movie has ever had my heart pounding from beginning to end. And you have to be some kind of crazy to go into theaters and see this movie three times. And this is my first Alien movie I'm, you know, seen in theaters, so I did not know what to expect what they really were like back in the day. But I gotta say, there were some jump moments, but I, did, I wasn't necessarily scared, it was just that it went too quiet and too loud. Now my girlfriend did get scared a lot, she was covering her, like laying her head on my shoulder, covering her face, and there was some disgusting parts that she was like covering her mouth with. I couldn't tell about my sister, she was on the other side of my girlfriend, so I don't know how my sister reacted. Um, but uh, my girlfriend did not like uh, how kind of the ending was with the, um, the, this baby hybrid engineer xenomorph, which that was so fucking badass. Anyways, I mean, I, that was creepy for me too, but she did not like that, but, and she said she's going to have nightmares for three months, but I'm going to be there to comfort her, so don't you worry. But it was such a freaking amazing movie. Like, I, I didn't even want it to be over. Okay, so let's start off with the characters. Now... Andy the robot? Oh my god. <laughs> like, every time I kept seeing Andy on screen, the, the, the killer song, Andy, You're a Star. Yeah, that song, that song kept playing in my head because he was so good as a robot, and I forgot what they're called. Um, but they're not really called the robots. Um, they're like Waylon robots, but let's just call them robots to keep it, you know, understandable. He was so good from being a scared robot to when he got rebooted to a badass. I'm gonna do what my objective tells me to robot. Like when he got when he got rebooted and he was trying to stop uh, Navarro and um, I forget the other kid into, you know, escaping into the ship. The way he was chomping down the hallway and like bar like. That door is about to close on Andy, and he opened that shit up. Like the pure, like the, the pure strength that these robots like have is like, it was so badass. Um, he was a great character, by the way. I, I loved him from beginning to end. Now the actor who played Navarro did an excellent job. I think she's kind of barely been in any movie, so I'm thinking I want to say this is like her, I guess, groundbreaking, but I'm not so sure. But every time I saw Rain and Navarro on screen, I immediately kept thinking of Rev from The Last of Us and Rain as Ellie from The Last of Us. I mean, Rain looks just like Ellie. I know there's other actors in there, but they were great too from beginning to end. Even Isabella um, from Madam Web, she really played her role very well. Like when I saw her, I, I saw her name here, like the title card, like she's in this. I was like, there's, there's no way, like, I don't know, you know, she, she played Dora, and now she's in Aliens, but she actually pulled it off. And man, oh man, let's talk about, holy shit, let's, let, let's just talk about, like, the Xenomorph hybrid engineer. Seeing that opened up so much information that I, like, that I had in the Alien universe, like, like, just holy shit, I like how big that baby got, how fast it grew. Like, when I saw its footprints and how huge they already were, I was like, holy shit, like, 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 the movie's not even, like, the movie wasn't even over, like, it was at its climax, yeah, but I was like, it's not even over, like, it was so, like, it was so frightening to see, and but it was just so freaking badass, it was just, and the thing I do like about Aliens is that they actually took time to, like, like, show, like, more of the atmosphere of, like, the sun, the, the, the moon planet with the rings, like, I'm glad they took more, like, consideration into, like, showing a bit of that, because I love space, and seeing that just made the movie more better, and plus, all the sound effects sounded like the old aliens, and references back to the old aliens movie was great, I know we saw a, a robot, Ash, but it wasn't Ash, it was just, it was a robot, his name was Rook, but, I, I love seeing him, um, and I, 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 
and I knew it was him. Like when he was face down, like on the ground when they first entered the ship, I was like, that has to be, you know, Ash. But then I was like, no, but Ash's head was decapitated. It can't be. But when they flipped him over and they fixed him and turned him on, I was like, holy shit, I was right. It was Ash. But then I remember this, they're synthetic robots. That's what they're called. I think synthetic droids. And um, there's just a multiple of that Ashes, but just different names, if you know what I'm trying to say. I know the CGI didn't look didn't look great. It looked kind of bad at times. But, I mean, it's just a movie, you know. You're not kind of going in for the CGI to look immaculate in every scene. But, I mean... It was like a deep fake because obviously the actor, you know, passed away, ripped to Bilbo Beggins. But it was great seeing Ash. He was still in his kind of like evil villain, just kind of like do things right for the company. Um, but that was great. The only complaint that I had is that I wish we would have saw, we well, wish they would have had more crew. That way the aliens could kill off more of the crew. We saw more kills on screen. But, you know, keeping the casting short does make the movie i think way more better so i'm not really upset and the thing that really made me like almost gasp in theaters is when rain was falling down the elevator due to, due to the gravity and that xenomorph caught her and then like slowly put her on the ladder i was like holy shit the xenomorphs evolved the xenomorphs fucking evolved i'm sorry if i'm cousin too much in this uh review but I, I just thought, because I know, uh, I forgot her name, but Isabel, you know, aka Dora, when she injected herself, I thought she turned into a xenomorph and went to go save Rain. But it just turned out that xenomorph, I think, just saved her just to kill her. But it didn't make any sense because the xenomorph didn't know that the elevator was falling. So why would the xenomorph catch her and then put her on the ladder? Why not just catch her and quickly kill her and take it back to the nest or whatever? So it kind of made me think, like, holy shit, this xenomorph is actually a good xenomorph and i still want to believe that that probably was a good xenomorph but you know andy probably andy and rain probably didn't know that and andy still wound up killing the xenomorph but that scene i almost guessed i was like there's no way xenomorphs are good i, I love xenomorphs more than the predator all right so that tells you anything but man i can talk about the whole movie for a day but i guess i'll try to end this here the movie was just so great and i'm gonna say it's the top best 2024 movie in my opinion and just in my opinion i know there's godzilla versus, versus kong you know the new empire you know, there's a new planet of the apes and Paul wolverine many more contenders but for me i'm gonna say this is like probably my top first competing with deadpool and wolverine i can't wait to see more. I, I really think Aliens is like a really underrated, you know, film series. And I really just hope we just get, you know, just more of it, you know, just more of it, just more expansion, more story, just more, more background the Xenomorphs, you know, just because the Xenomorphs are really awesome. But I guess I'll just stop it right here, though. But the movie was just great. My girlfriend did not really love that, <laughs> you know, the ending, but <laughs> You enjoyed the movie overall but i guess thanks for much for watching if you stuck to the end of this review i didn't say spoiler warning in the beginning i'm not gonna say at the end i'll probably just put in the title but spoiler warning what was that little click i'm trying to be quirky now i need to sign off before sign off this isn't a broadcast i need to go this is ripley with the nostromo signing off that was, <laughs> that was good <laughs> i'm getting out of here i'm getting out of here